Hey guys, it's me, Penny Angela. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in the shirt from the other video. I don't know when this is gonna be up in what order. Yesterday, I was at the Anna Biller signing, went home, took a shower, and yes, I'm wearing my same shirt tip that I wore to do my makeup the other day. Today, we're gonna see Priscilla. Today, we're gonna see Priscilla, and I'm really excited about this movie. I am interested to see if the movie is like the book. I'm currently reading the book right now, and I wish I started reading it earlier. But you know me, I am queen procrastinator. We are going to a screening of Priscilla at the Alamo Draft House in downtown LA. There is also a Priscilla brunch at this screening today. Put on my blue eyeshadow. I don't have any like baby blue shirts to wear, so that's really unfortunate. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup, do my outfit, then probably just start heading out there. And uh, did I say do my outfit? No, I'm going to do my lips, put on my lip as I like to say. Probably just brush up my hair. I'm not gonna, I'm still gonna keep it like skinny in my skinny um, bitch era, like sleek, straight. I can't wait to not be blonde. Like I know I see this every video, but like the blonde is giving me weird fly weird energy not a fan <laughs> yeah this video probably will be out before the Annabella video so you guys are probably like what are you talking about because I really want to edit this video while the movie is out like I mean just came out it literally just came out Friday so I need to get on it and edit this quickly so we are going to put on our outfit I'm going to come back when I have on my makeup and then I'll show you my outfit which one screams Priscilla like this leopard print and I'm gonna wear like blue jeans or this bodysuit. I don't know, I feel like leopard print is also, I mean, tiger, the zebra print thing, whatever, is like very 60s, like Elvis vibes. I don't know, or, or am I just imagining things? All right, so this is the zebra print. What are you thinking? I don't know, I kinda like this. No? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I already know I'm gonna like how I look in the black because it's black, right? Like, and I don't wear black. I don't really own a lot of black clothing. I'm not like an all black person, like in terms of like clothing, like I don't really like a lot of black things. I like to wear pink. <laughs> I like to wear pink or like leopard print or like pink or baby blue. But I don't, I have like, ugh. I don't own a lot of baby blue, but I would want to own a lot of baby blue or like lilacs or pastels, like muted yellows, muted purples. I don't, I hate purple. I hate purple, but I like a light pastel, like pastels. Anyway, not the discussion. It's kind of Jane Mansfield vibe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put on my jeans and then we'll take it from there, okay? Okay. All right, you guys, I'm in my skinny cunt era, like, don't talk to me, don't look at me. Skinny bitch. <laughs> All right, so this would be the look in the, the blue jeans with the shirt. I would have to put on a belt because these pants are kind of big on me now, you guys, like, ah. I'm so proud of myself like I as of today lost 25 pounds in a year I'm doing it the right way and I kind of want to make a video on that but I know people get offended by like people doing things with their own body but I still want to talk about my weight loss because it's something that I've done for myself that I wanted to do and it's my body my freaking choice right right so anyway all right so this is the first option and then let's just change shirts right now yeah no it's giving we're doing the the black right we're doing the black we're doing the black black with black bodysuit with belt and yeah that's that's the look for today Okay, but I think I want to, I don't, I really don't know what I want to wear. I don't know. 
I'm gonna put on my sneakers and get ready. And next time you'll see me, I'll be outside, okay? Because I need to get the frig out of my house. Okay, love ya. Hey. Oh, I'm right here. I have a little draft house, baby. Now we just have to find it. So, we are looking for Alamo Draft House. I don't know exactly where that is though. Thank you. That guy was really nice. He said I should be in the movies. All right, he's at the second floor. He was like, I was like, where's the movies? He goes, you're not in the movies? And you should be in the movies. And I'm like, girl, that's what a bitch is fucking manifesting like. Like, he said second floor, bitch. <sighs> so we're gonna see if we can find Alamo Draft House. The movie starts in like 20 fucking minutes and I have to pee, so wish me luck. It literally has to be here because I don't see nothing else. Hi, it's me. This is the view. Take that in, motherfuckers. We're in downtown LA. And we're going to Alamo Draft House. Yay! So excited. We are here at Alamo Draft House. Oh my gosh, how cool. We're at the movies. Oh, that's scary. And here we are, <gasps> Priscilla. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> On our way to see Priscilla. On our way to the Priscilla brunch. <laughs> coffee I'm in heaven I am in heaven like this is my idea of fun <laughs> being by myself <laughs> and watching a movie okay I'm gonna record more of the theater when I come out but I want to get in the theater really quick and let's watch our movie theater number eight okay let's go so this is the brunch menu for Priscilla. And I ordered the rose fizz. Sounds good. my new favorite Sofia Coppola film.
we just left the theater. Ooh, let me watch my step. Trying to be a vlogger. Well, I am a vlogger. I'm not trying, I am. Because all you have to do to be is to do it, and that's what I'm doing, so I am a vlogger. Um, but I will say the movie was excellent, and I want to watch it again, for sure. Like, it was so good. And now we are going to my favorite coffee shop in the world, Phil's Ice Coffee. You probably landed from Emma Chamberlain many years ago, like I have. And I wish that they had a Phil's everywhere because I would definitely be going to Phil's more than Starbucks if there were more Phil's. It smells like fucking cat piss. Hello, downtown LA. Should I ask them to do Alana Del Rey? I think, no. That's where we're going. Phil's. I cannot wait, oh my gosh. I don't even care anymore, like, I'm gonna film my content, I'm gonna become rich, I'm gonna become famous, like, I don't really care. I have to do what I have to do, I have to get on my Zoom, so I'm breaking out of the nervousness of everything, like, I have to because if I don't do what I'm doing right now, I feel like some guys looking at me, if I don't do what I'm doing right now, like, I'm never going to, um, I'm never going to progress. So yeah, skinny legend. Don't be fooled by downtown LA. I fucking hate it here. It can look pretty, but it's just not worth it to live here. It's just not worth it to fucking live down here. It is not. This gridlock traffic is uh, something else. So excited. Version because I have weight loss goals. Like, I have goals, but I still want to be But, like, everything doesn't have to be so dramatic. Um, it just doesn't have to be. I'm not gonna have 400 calories iced coffee. Like, that's just what it feels like. That's insane. I have to find a place to pee because the bathroom at Phil's is broken so I need to figure something out ooh hello sunlight we love sunlight anyway I have to find I have to find a bathroom because I have to pee and I think I think my little uh, friend had decided to pop up my period so we miss her we love her we hate her but it's time to be acquainted with her again i think so i'm gonna go into this whole foods and hopefully they let me fucking pee okay because the bitch has to fucking pee this is so scary
<laughs> I'm kind of like free bleeding right now. But like, not. Because I made things work. <laughs> there is toilet paper, whatever. TMI, I don't care. So basically, let's talk about Priscilla. So as you guys know, I am, first of all, can you hear me? So I adjusted the volume, not really, but I will when I edit it. So you guys can hopefully hear me better. See, I fucked up the lighting. <laughs> I like fucked up the lighting. Should I sit here? Should I sit here? Ooh. Is this better? Or no? Mmm. Is this better? Or no? I don't think this is better, hold on. But let's talk about this movie, okay? So, as you guys may or may not know, I have been reading the Priscilla Elvis and Me book, written by Priscilla Presley herself, okay? And in the book, I'm like on the fourth or fifth chapter, so I'm not, I'm not completely done with the book yet. But what I will say is that there are elements of the movie. Hold on. So rude. Anyway, as I was saying, there's elements of the movie that I feel are very spot on to the book. And then there's things in the book that in the movie, as in the book I don't know what I just said I'm getting used to doing this outside you guys like this is outside of my comfort zone but as I told you guys this is me trying this is me shopping. so get used to it get used to a more out and about penny you should be grateful for that <laughs> what was I saying anyway Priscilla I feel that this is probably Sofia Coppola's best movie in my opinion I don't know if I like it more than version suicides because version suicides it's really like important to me it's really personal to me and I really relate to that story and even outside of like not being a teenage girl I still relate to that even though I got into that movie and that book when I was a teenage girl and it still has lingered on into my adulthood and I will always feel like a Lisbon sister but as I was watching Elvis now I know there's a lot of controversy with Elvis the age gap between Priscilla and him I understand that like I completely understand that I have a lot of questions though because I understand that it was a different time period but her parents seem to have been okay with it and I'm really confused to like why because I know that they didn't seem okay with it but I guess they were okay with it because he's rich and famous like I'm really confused but at the same time you do you another thing I am confused about with the movie not confused about that I want to speak on is that Elvis is a very charming man I'm saying even at my grown-ass age bitch like that shit would have worked on me like I would have I would have that would have worked on me as a teenager and that would have worked on me now as a grown-ass woman like there are some men that are so charming that oh my gosh I'm trying to film anyway there are men that are just so charming that impressionable or not you would just fall into their little web of lies right like you would just fall into it and I'm not saying that Elvis 
um, I don't I don't know the guy he's not alive like I don't want to see nothing like I don't know like they have their moment and that's that but what I can say is that this is one of her best movies okay and there is something about being a kept woman that I feel really gravitates women towards men like Elvis right like for me as I said that would have worked on me a man telling me hey like you look best in that like do this do that I'm paying for this like I would have been smitten outside of being a kept woman I really love the cinematography the set design the colors like so everyone wants to make noise when I'm trying to fucking film outside annoying anyway the set design the colors all of it like I don't know it's beautiful I love the pinks I love the baby blues the acting was great Jacob did an amazing job as Elvis like he he ate that he ate that and she I don't know the actress's name I'll put it in here but she did a great job I know when people first saw the casting they were kind of upset because you know people people always get something to be like upset about um, because people are kind of annoying as we know but I think she did a great job as Priscilla she really captured Priscilla's innocence and her naiveness and her her lusting and longing to be loved i know that there has been like some leaked emails from lisa marie presley who has since uh now passed on of her telling sophia you know i don't think you should do this i don't think you should release this movie or you're painting my dad in a real predatory way but at the same time this movie is based on her mother's book like these like this is her mother's words like so you can't really get mad at Sophia for making, for just showcasing what her mother has said in the book, you know? And I actually think Sophia handled the movie with care. She handled the story with a sensitivity, you know, through the eyes of a woman. And that's why so many girls love Sophia Coppola is because like, she's really good with girl gaze. She's really good with telling stories of women that I really like and I don't know like Sofia Coppola she's one of my favorite directors and uh, as she is for a lot of girls you know I feel like I want more lighting you know but I don't want I don't want to fuck this up again so I'm, I'm not gonna do that I like I feel like is this lighting okay I don't even know but anyway anyway um what else do I want to say what else do I freaking want to say I don't know you guys like I'm stepping out my comfort zone like I'm filming in downtown LA across the street from a Whole Foods bitch like cars are driving by buses pedestrians like this is so outside of me in my little pink apartment talking to the camera like this is like so excuse my my loss of thought you know but I'm trying to do this review after I watched it so it's fresh in my mind and memory I definitely want to see the movie again what else can I say what where, where was I Sophia and the sensitivity of the story yes I think Sophia did a great job handling the sensitivity of this story for this woman I have nothing bad really to say about the shit I think it's I I, I give it a 10 I do I, there is nothing that I dislike about the movie. There's nothing I dislike about the movie. I really enjoy the movie. I have nothing bad to say. Sorry. Sorry if that offends anybody. I have nothing bad to say. Hair, the makeup, it's all so beautiful. Again, yes, this actress doesn't look like the image we have of Priscilla Presley. But as the movie goes on, she kind of emulates that. Or she emulates her innocence. And I feel like that is more important than hiring an actress that looks like somebody, but hiring an actress that like captures that person's essence and vibe and story. Like that makes more sense to me, you know? But we all have, <laughs> we all have, you know, what matters the most to us in watching a film. But I, again, I feel like Sophia handled this story really sensitively she handled it in a great way and the way the movie ended caught me by surprise as i said i'm reading a book i thought that like the the ending was going to be in a way how like the beginning of the book was and it wasn't 
and I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but I like the ending a lot. I actually really like the ending. I don't know, I give the movie its tens. I wanna go back and watch it. My mom comes in town in like two weeks, so I'll probably bring her with me and take her. I know my mom isn't like the type of person to stay awake for a movie, so I don't know if I should even take her. If not, I'll go again by myself. I'll probably go watch it at the same theater I just did right now. Um, I don't know, it was a great movie, you guys, and I recommend all of my trash stars to go see it. I feel like you guys would love it. I feel like my demographic would love the movie. What else can I say? Yeah, tens across the board. You know, it's a sensitive subject and everyone has their opinions on Elvis. Everyone has their opinions on Elvis. Um, and you know, it, it doesn't paint him in a bad light. It doesn't paint him in a good light. It paints him. These buses, like this is pissing me off. Like, why was my hair wet? Like, did a bird poop on me? Or was that like my own spit? Or did a bird poop on me? Did a bird poop on me? I don't, I don't think so. Anyway. It doesn't paint Elvis in a bad way. It just shows him as a human. And as humans, we're really... Oh my gosh, it's so loud. So the movie doesn't paint Elvis in a bad way. It paints him as a human. And as humans, we are complex. Like everything isn't black or white you can be a good person you can also be do fucked up shit at the same time there's moments where you're like he shouldn't be talking to this girl she's so young but then he's like hey you're too young for us to actually you know have intimate relations because you're still a baby but then it's like you are recognizing that she is a child but you're still talking and entertaining her and dating her and grooming her but you're also at the same time like we should not be intimate until like after we're married or until after you finish high school and all this weird stuff i don't know i recommend you guys to watch the movie and also read the book priscilla and me and as for me i'm about to head home and edit this so you guys my trash stars can see it so unless there's any more crazy adventure i'm about to go on which i probably won't be because as i said it's that time of the month. <laughs> it just popped up right now. Need to get my, my ass home before I start leaving a trail wherever I go. That won't be good. But yeah, so unless I do anything super crazy, the vlog is gonna end here. Leave in the comments below if you have seen Priscilla. What are your thoughts on Elvis and Priscilla and their dynamic? I just feel like the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. And it's fine if you don't get it. It's fine if you do get it. But I do feel like there are people that have lived this story and there are people that unfortunately to this day are probably living this story and i'm sure it can be healing for some people to see priscilla gain her strength and voice and i'm not going to get too much into the movie because again i don't want to do any spoilers but just go into it with an open mind and yeah it's a great movie i recommend it i want to watch it again it's some of her best work and yeah. Are people talking to themselves? Like, you know, I'm in downtown LA right now. Like people are kind of crazy here, you know? But yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right here and then maybe I'll come back. Maybe I won't, but I love you, my little trash stars, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. The sunlight and my melanin, like my melanin, my melanin. It's like it's iconic. Like skinny bitch era. Like I done told y'all.